Hey there, good looking. If you need a quick cardio workout, this is it. This is an all standing cardio workout. And then if you decide to stick with me to the very end, I do have a mat based finisher in which we will bulletproof your low back. No equipment is required. And if you're watching this in real time, this is a lucky number at day 13 of our strong and sassy challenge. All right, let's go get started. All right, let's start by warming up the body, getting it ready for the workout. We're gonna start down on the mat, working into the glutes. Bring the heels hip width close to the bum. You should be able to feel the heels with your fingertips. Push through those heels, lift the hips up, lower down. We have 10 of these. I want you to make sure that you are using your glutes to do this action. Really focus on squeezing the glutes as we lift up. Three more and we're at, we'll add an arm movement with this. Last one here. Good, now as we lift the hips, bring that right arm, reach it up and across and lower. Left arm, reach it up and across and lower. So now we get into the T-spine a bit, into the shoulders. Even though this is a body weight cardio workout, we still wanna warm up all the areas of our back. Last four. Two more. All right, bring yourself up into a standing position for me. Let's take it into those deep squats. We did them the other day if you're in the strong and sassy challenge. Inhale the arms up, feet shoulder width apart. Exhale, fold down, grab to the bottoms of the toes, maybe bending the knees to do so. Now drop the hips all the way down, keeping those heels on the ground. Lift the arms up and drive up. Okay, here we go, down. Drive up. So here's how today is gonna roll. We are not having any breaks. We have five exercises, three rounds, and then we break. So short and sweet. Last three. I'm gonna show low impact and then I'll move it into a higher impact as I go. So you can follow either one. And then as I said, hopefully you can stick around to the very end. We have a finisher to bulletproof your low back. Good job. All right, now walk it forward, kick the leg up, walk it back, alternating, reaching the hand out, getting those hamstrings warmed up. Last four. Three, two, and one. Hip circles, just mirror me, coming up and back. Knee soft on this guy, up and back. Two more. Last one. Other side. One more and march it out. We're gonna get busy in about 20 seconds. Grab a quick sip of water if you need one. Now's a great time to do that. We're starting with a football shuffle. Feet are wide. All right, everyone will be able to do this one. Okay, and we're just gonna shuffle the feet like so. So even if you don't typically do high impact, I want you to give it a try. Ready and go. Good, and then you can just bring the arms like so. You got it. This is waking up the joints, building some bone in addition to getting that heart rate up there. Now 30 seconds of work, we're moving this into a simple body weight squat in 10 seconds. Keep those knees bent, feet shoulder width apart. We're planting the feet in three, two, one, plant, arms out. Now let's keep those arms out. We sink the hips back, knees track with toes. Go as low as it feels comfortable. Advance people, you're taking it past the knees. Good job. 30 seconds of work here. Then we'll put some focus into the hamstrings with a hamstring curl. Pick up that tempo. This is cardio, not strength. Last three, two, 
One hand, curl, 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 okay? So here's where you're at if you wanna do low impact or butt kicks if you wanna make it high. Knees are still under the hips, bringing the heels up to the bum. If you're doing the low impact, use those arms, row them, row them, good. Less than 10 seconds, we got a jumping jack. I'll start with low impact and then move it on. Ready, Peace, feet, feet planned, and up, up, tap it. Come on, good job. High impact, join me. Land soft, go wide with the legs. One more exercise of this series. Skaters coming up in 10 seconds. In four, three, two, plant and skate. Good, so you can keep it low impact or push off and add some impact. This is our last move. We go back to football shuffle from the top. Come on, use those legs. Really try to go as lateral as you can. Use the space you have. Land on that one leg, plant it, knee soft. Good job. Shuffle in in three, two, one. Be wide, shuffle. Good job, you. I got a slight hip hinge. Yes, cool. Just thought I'd show off my hip hinge. <laughs> Just joking. I don't want you to be upright. That's gonna feel really weird. All right, so that's why I was showing off my hip hinge. We're moving into squats in less than 10 seconds. Remember those arms stay out in three, two, plant those feet, squat. Good, take a peek. Toes turned out a bit, good. Knees tracking with toes, excellent. Drop it, good, go. Remember, this is cardio, let's move. It's just three rounds, I got you for three rounds. I'm gonna make you work for those three rounds. In 10 seconds, hamstring curls. In three, two, one, curl and row. Or high impact, which kind of is more of a butt kick. Heels, your legs have to come in though, if you're doing the high impact, but it's still heels to bum. Less than 10 seconds are jumping jacks. We'll start low impact or you can go straight into high impact. Up, 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 up or high. Nice. In 10 seconds, we have skaters. In three, two, one, plant, skate, skate, add some impact. We land soft, knee bent, hip hinge. It's athletic, nothing's locked out, you're never upright. Ten seconds, moving into our last round, in which we're gonna give it, okay? We football shuffle in three, two, one, and go. Remember that hip hinge. Come on, be wide, let's go, let's go, let's go. Put a smile on, we're almost there. Ten seconds. We're squatting in three, two, one. Plant those feet, arms out, go. Good, now take a look at that. You wanna externally rotate a bit in the feet and hip. Knees track with the toes. Sink it, drop it. Let's do this. Keep those arms up, come on. Hamstring curls in three, two, 
One, row, 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 high impact. Yes. Try high impact, it's our last round. Come on, give it a try. Ten seconds to jumping jacks. You can go right into high impact if you know that right away. I'll start with low and three, two, one, and up. Good. High. Land soft, less than 10 seconds. Final move, skaters coming up in three, two, one, you go you. Low impact, high impact, good. Go lateral, come on. We're skating. Ten more seconds. Can you do it? Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Keep up. Keep up. Three, two, one. March it out. Woo. Come here. Give me a high five. High five. All right. Please keep those feet moving. We got to get the heart rates down a bit. Now, listen, if that's all you got for the day, thank you so much for showing up. However, I urge you to stick around. It's a three and a half minute series to help bulletproof your low back. So if you're part of the strong and sassy challenge, that's what we've been working on all week, hasn't it? So we're gonna continue on with that theme. Maybe grab a sip of water if you need it. Good, we're just gonna give it a minute. I'll let the heart rates come down before we head to our mat. Here's a good cue too, for those of you that do gotta take off. I have time stamped the workout down below. So come back to it later and finish off that low back bulletproof series, okay? Feet apart, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, arms go down. Let's do that three more times, inhale. Nice deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Last two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, if your heartbeat is still going like a hummingbird, I want you to push pause and walk it around. It's important that you are a little lower, not probably pre-exercise lower, but you're not going to struggle by being on the mat with the heart rate going. Otherwise, we're gonna head down to the mat for our lower back exercises. All right, getting down onto the mat. We're starting with a resisted dead bug, but only one side. So let's get the knees over the hips, the ankles lined up with the knees. Extend the arms straight up. Now push your left hand into the left thigh, draw the belly button in and anchor the spine. Now just extend the right arm and leg while you're trying to bring that left knee in and resisting it with your hand. Exhale as you come down. If you're able to, we want heel to ground, thumb to ground, so we're leading with the thumb, not allowing that low back to pop off. Back of the neck is long. 30 seconds of work. We get a bit of a breather and then we'll do the other side. All right, release. Okay, so let's get set up. But again, 90 degree hip and knee, right hand pushes into right thigh, same side left. Good, draw that belly button in. Trying to drive that right knee now into the chest. So this is hitting our deep core muscles called the transverse, and they're crucial in helping support and stabilize our low back. Both feet onto the ground. I want you to draw the left knee into the chest now and hold it there. 
Push through that right heel, drive the hips up. One-legged bridge. Bulletproofing into the glutes now, which help out with that low back. Thirty seconds of work, and the other knee comes in. Really push through that right heel. All right, let's switch sides. Left heel's close to the bum. You don't want it too far away or you'll hit more hamstring versus glute. Now let's drive through the heel to get more glute as well. And drive up. Oh, we drive the other knee into the chest a bit more. These are our two moves. We'll go back to the dead bug for one more round of each. I like teaching at least two rounds of things. Sometimes I find with people it takes at least a round just to figure out what the heck you're training. <laughs> so then the second round we can really perfect it. <laughs> but I get it. a lot of people like single set training. All right, let's get the knees over the hips and ankles lined up with the knees. Let's take that right hand, drive it into the right thigh, left arm extends, thumb pointed to the ceiling, drive the belly button in towards the thigh, extend, same side arm and leg. Not allowing that low back to pop. We are working that core. Release it down. Whew. You'll feel your hip flexors too. There's no doubt about that. All right, let's get set up. Left hand presses into the thigh now. Go, right side. We'll give the hips a good stretch after this. Okay, both feet on the ground and get the heels in. All right, now let's grab onto that left knee. And just on top of the shin, push through the right heel, drive up and down. All right, release the left leg. Let's bring the hands on top of that right shin now. Left heel close to the bum. Three, two, one, let's go. Drive the hips up, down. Get a little bit of back extension with this as well. All right, whoo. Okay, let's take the arms in a T position, drop the knees to your left. If you want a little bit more, you can take that left foot and place it on top of the outside of the right knee and then turn your gaze towards the right fingertips. Let's keep the arms and shoulders on the ground, even that right shoulder. So if you're having a hard time keeping the right shoulder, maybe pop the ground up if you've got a pillow or something nearby and place it under that right arm. Couple breaths here. Stretching side of hip. All right, let's go to the other side. So we start by dropping the knees to your right. And then if you want it a bit more, you take that right foot and put it on the outside of the left knee. Turn your gaze to the left fingertips. And to center, 
Final stretch for the hip flexors as promised. We'll get into the quads a little bit as well. Left knee under hip, right ankle extends. Tighten up that left glute while we lean back. So a little bit of spine extension. Inhale that left arm straight up and lean away. I wanted to respect your time so the stretch is a little shorter. I recognize that some people just need a quick workout and will only pick a workout due to the timestamp. <laughs> so if you require more of a stretch, there's a ton of stretches, both on the Over 50 Fitness platform as well as on my YouTube channel. Let's circle this arm behind us nice and slow. Excellent. Let's do the other side. Right knee underneath the hip. Lunge forward a bit. Now I want you to extend and tighten this glute. Inhale that right arm straight up, exhale, lean away. Great job, challengers. Actually, great job to anybody that showed up today. I've said it before and I will continue to say it. The hardest part is putting on your running shoes and push and play. So I'm proud of you. Circle this arm behind nice and slow. Ah. Hey, listen, drop a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And you can also help this video out so the YouTube algorithm can find it by clicking that thumbs up. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day and we will see you next workout. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Stick around for this quick cardio workout. It's an all standing workout. No equipment is required. And if you decide to stick with me to the very end, I have a special core. Uh, blah, blah, blah.